Hi, I'm just going to demonstrate through this short video um, the process for getting logged into the World Handicap System on the Wales Golf website. So, first of all, you need to go to this uh, Wales Golf website, which is www.walesgolf.org. Once you're there, um, in the top right hand corner, you'll see this WHS login. Uh, which if you click on that, it will take you to this first page that says, if this is your first time to log in to our new website, you will need to sign up first. So the first thing you need to do then is to click on this sign up first um, screen. And then on that screen in this field here, you need to enter your CDH identification number. If you don't already know where to find that, you should be able to find it on How Did I Do um, on the page where you can look at your current handicap certificate. Uh, it's a CDH ID. It is, um, how many digits is it? I can't remember. Um, I think it's about, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a 10 digit number and it will begin with six double zero. So I've already gone through this process, but that's where you will put in your CDH number. When you click on the next button, it will tell you that it has sent you an email and you need to go and open that email. I opened it on my phone so I could stay on the on the same screen here and uh, you then type in a six digit code that they have sent you by email. That's basically, basically to validate that the person trying to uh, log in is the person that owns that email address. You then put that in and it then will take you to the next step where it asks you to create your own password. So you type your own password in type in again in a confirm box to confirm the password and then proceed in to the system itself. So I'm now going to log into the system um, and I'm going to type in my CDH number six double zero one two five eight nine nine five and then my password click on keep me signed in which doesn't always work and I'm going to log in so there we are I'm going to save that password into my um, browser settings. So this is the home page for the new portal. It'll look slightly different on different types of devices. I'm currently on my iPad um, and it looks a little bit different uh, than it did when I first logged in on the computer. It confirms my latest handicap index. Um, I didn't know that I was in the top 58% at Abigail, but there you go. Um, and then down here, uh, as you can see, I have a bit of a variable performance on the golf course. Um, it shows the uh, variation in my uh, play um, as I've, you know, each time I've gone out. And as it shows you at the top, the, the, the little key there, the green dots and the green line is the tracking of my handicap index. The yellow dots where it says counting, those are the best eight, my best eight scores out of my last 20. You'll see along the bottom um, a scale going up to 20. So that is my last 20 scores and the yellow ones are the ones that um, are show uh, you know, that go towards calculating 
my current handicap index. So it's the average of my best eight out of my last 20. Um, it's showing my last 20 scores. I've only got a total of 27, I think, in there. But if I click on my last 50 scores, uh, you can see, uh, you know, the whole of my player record there uh, and, um, you know, how uh, up and down it has been. Um, this gives you, uh, it's not bang up to date because the data that was uploaded was uploaded um, at the very beginning of October, I think. So it's, um, mine will come down because uh, I've had a few better uh, rounds since the data was uploaded. Um, this shows you, um, you know, my, my most recent scores. Again, if I click on view all scores, it will then give me a full listing of them. And the ones with the green dots next to them, as you can see, those are the ones that are in my best eight. That horizontal line across there is where my, that's the bottom of my last 20. Um, so that's how it's, um, that's how it's all operating. Um, I've not explored this, but why not? Let's have a go. There's a notifications area, uh, which I assume is where we'll get notifications of various things, maybe changes to handicap index. Um, my profile, um, that's where it's got my details, uh, date of birth, membership type, email address, mobile phone number. Um, I don't know whether it will eventually be populated with my home address, etc. And I opted in to the Wales Golf newsletter. Uh, looks like, because it says save details, looks like I might be able to um, actually um, edit those details myself. Um, choosing um, a profile photograph, which I will uh, I will do shortly. I think it's uh, nice to be able to put a name to a face or a face to a name. Um, my overview, that's where we dropped in. That's the page that I've already shown you. Um, notif so we've looked at my overview, we've looked at scores, uh, we've looked at my profile, notifications, there's nothing there, so I can't go and show that to you. So that's kind of it. And I think this kind of um, functionality and information will also shortly be available when they launch the smartphone app. So at that point, I'll probably take that for a little test drive and record another one, little one of these uh, to help uh, people navigate and, and get going with the new system. Hope that's been useful. Um, thanks very much for listening. Take care, stay safe and enjoy your golf. Bye.